the new rollout of survivor passes, updates to Erangel's infamous bridges, improvements to reputation, match history, and performance, and more as we dive into the update 11.2 patch report. Welcome back, survivors. First up this patch, we're rolling out the survivor pass changes we've been chatting about. Starting with 11.2, the survivor pass and its theme will no longer be linked to the new season. This allows us a little more freedom in what we put in the passes while not being forced into a full season duration. Our first pass is a little less serious than the lava-filled highlands of Paramo. Next up, Erangel's infamous bridge to Sosnovka Island is getting a small rework. Our goal here is to tone down the choke point aspect of the bridge slightly, offering survivors an alternative means of crossing, once the explosions stop. To do this, we've widened the bridge slightly and added new catwalks. We've also improved cover a bit by adjusting the dump truck cargo box. We don't expect this will majorly change how people utilize the bridge, but we'd love to hear your thoughts once you've given the new bridge a few rounds of play. Our reputation system is getting some needed updates. Max deduction limit has also been added to prevent cases where someone could be falsely reported into oblivion by the enemy squad. We'll continue looking at the system and try to keep it performing as it should and free of abuse, so please let us know if there's anything else that needs to be looked at. Match history has seen some visual design improvements and has some added information, and there have been a number of performance improvements to the game overall as well. And one more thing. After quite a bit of feedback from the community, we've increased recoil slightly for passengers in moving vehicles. We hope this will put a little more challenge into those drive-bys, but let us know if it's too little or too much. Full details on those can be found in the patch notes. For now, pick up the new Survivor Pass, drop into Paramo, and turn your squad's slumber party into a slaughter party. A return to the newly improved Badlands of Miramar. A new system to up your weapon cosmetics game. A new custom match, and more, as we dive into the Update 12.1 patch report. First up, Miramar is back with another, more robust rework. Our sophomore 8x8 map now features improved textures for added realism, and a general cleanup of terrain to make it easier to see which areas can be scaled. We've also done an extensive pass on lighting to showcase the warm, dry atmosphere, while bringing the visual realism on par with our more recent maps. Updated Miramar also includes a brand new off-road vehicle, the ATV, and a powerful, armor-piercing sniper rifle in care packages. The two-seater ATV boasts a 110km top speed and is exclusive to Miramar. The Lynx AMR is PUBG's first 50 caliber weapon, capable of destroying weak vehicles such as a motorcycle with just one shot. The Lynx can even pierce the otherwise bulletproof windows of the BRDM to snipe players inside the vehicle. The downside of the new anti-material rifle is you only get five shots with no way to reload, so use them wisely. This is our biggest update to Miramar yet, so be sure to let us know your feedback on the new and improved Badlands. Up next, we've added a new way to obtain and improve weapon skins with the Weapon Skin Upgrade System. Every season, we'll update new weapon skins called Progressive Weapons that can be updated using components you collect from deconstructing extra skins you have or by opening contraband crates with G-Coin or BP. The more you upgrade these special weapons, the cooler your new skin looks with visual improvements to attachments, enemy death boxes, animations, the kill feed, and more. You can even unlock a battle stack counter for these weapons, so upgrade to your heart's content. The first progressive weapon dropping is the Gearhead Barrel, so start digging through those contraband crates to try and find yours and get upgrading. Other updates include a new race custom match setting, a silly new way to entertain yourself in the pre-game lobby, improved bots that drop from the plane like normal players now, the start of ranked Season 12, and much more. So be sure to check out the patch notes for full details. Season 12 is here, so upgrade some weapon skins, or just grab yourself a new Lynx and drop back into the Badlands.